common task we have in Vue.js is to apply some currency formatting. Now this can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be, but rather than just outputting a simple number, we can also use a method which is available natively in JavaScript to display this in the user's locale. So this means both with the local currency symbol and also formatted in the correct way. So previously in Vue version 2 we had something called Vue filters. However, in Vue version 3 the filters have now been removed and it's encouraged to add anything like this inside of a method or a computed property. Or alternatively, another way of doing this is by using Vue 3 global properties. So let's take a look at a simple example and then we'll build on this to add some more complex features. So to start, we'll remove the hello world example that we have inside here. This is just a default project which is set up. And then we'll add script and also a template. Since we're working with view 3, I'm going to remove the export default and make use of the script setup and then place inside a function which is going to be called format money. So format money needs to take in the value which we're going to format and then it needs to return the new value. So again, as a very simple example to begin, what we'll do is we'll take the value and using the JavaScript to fix method, we'll fix this simply to two decimal places down in the template. So a P element, and we'll say the total is going to be equal to a value. So this can be any value which you want to, place in any long string of text, refresh. There we are, there's our value, but for UK currency, this needs to be only formatted to two decimal places. So using our simple example, we can then replace this value just here. We can put in the double curly braces and call our method, which is format money. Place inside our value, which is this value here, which is then formatted to two decimal places. Update this and this simple example works fine. This method or function could also be replaced with a Vue.js computed property to update the value once the contents inside will change. So simple for my use case, but the world doesn't have a consistent way to display currency. So this function cannot cater for all users. Instead, we can improve on this by using something called the JavaScript INTL object. This is the JavaScript internationalization API that provides language-based number time and date formatting, amongst some other features. And we can use it to provide locale-based currency formatting. So to use this, rather than returning the value dot to fixed, what we'll do is we'll still need to return a value, but we'll return a new INTL object, and then we'll call number format. This number format object allows language sensitive number formatting and is ideal for currency formatting. Next, we can chain onto the end a format method, which takes in the value which we need to format. In our case, it's the value which is passed to this function. So place this inside. And as well as this, number format also takes in some arguments to specify what locale we're going to be using, and also some various options. At its most simple, we can pass it in a string, which is a country shortcode, which sets the formatting style of our currency, depending on the user's location. So for example, if we were targeting German customers, it would be DE dash DE. Let's refresh this and now our screen has been updated. So the reason we use this is because currency is displayed and formatted differently in different parts of the world. As we've just seen there with UK currency, this is formatted and separated with a decimal place. However, though, some countries such as Germany will use a comma as a separator. And also some countries insert some special symbols. So this will really help tailor the experience for your end user. I'm going to return this to the English currency, which is en-gb. If we save this, update the browser. This has been updated to use the decimal place as a separator. And as well as this separated by a comma, we can also pass in an options object. And this options object is optional and we can use it to set both the style and also the currency. So the style, 
is a string of currency. And the second option is the currency type. And for me, it's going to be GBP. And you can now see inside the browser that we've now got the additional currency symbol. So we can remove our hard coded value from the total. And also this currency is now formatted to two decimal places. Whereas before, if we remove this object, this was set to be three decimal places. So this options object, as well as currency, which we're using this for, can also be used for other values such as units of measure and also percentages too. Okay, so this is all you would need if you want to just keep this inside of a single component. Maybe if you only need to display this in one particular part of your application. But we may also need to use it in other pages or components. One way to do this is to move it into a separate JavaScript file or a composable file. And then we could import it into which file we need it. Or instead, we can make use of view free global properties. This is a object which we can access in any component inside of our app. So go over to the main.js where we can set this up. Just below where we create our app. We can access app dot config dot global properties and then we can pass in a name which you want to use to access this global property inside of our components so let's call this filters this can be any name of your choice and we could set this up to be equal to one single function but instead i'm going to set this up as an object so we can add multiple filters in the future if we wanted to and then inside let's cut out our function paste this inside. Since this function is now inside of an object, it's now a method. So we don't need to declare this, we can remove the word function. And if you wanted to, you could separate this with a comma and add multiple filters in the future. But for now, though, we can access this inside of our template with filters dot format money. So let's save this. Add the word filters. Update our project. Leaving us now with a global currency filter, which we can use in any one of our components.